Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks in Chandelar. And of course, it's almost Christmas. We're one day away. It's going to be Christmas Eve today. And that's why I'm wearing the Christmas sweater. You know, I'm ready for it. I'm so looking forward for the holidays. But of course, before it all starts, a game of Chandelar to kind of calm the nerves, get ready for everything. Um, and in today's episode, I'm going to try to go into the Black Wizard's Castle. So here's the Black Wizard's Castle. And um, what I've done, I have made a white deck. Let me just get the uh, volume under control here. So I've made a white deck here. Um, lots of Sarah Angels. Lots of other stuff that I think is going to be really good. An Archaeologist, because I'm also playing with quite a lot of artifacts. The main reason for me to play pretty artifact heavy is the fact that I'm worried about Black Knight. So if Black Knight appears, I want to have a weapon. And also I have an Argivian Archaeologist, which is just one of my favorite cards. I actually own four of those in like the physical world. Um, so yeah, I wanted to play with it. You know, it's a super cool card. Um, we have four modes in this deck. So that's that's pretty serious. Isn't four a bit too much actually? Now that, now that I think about it. You know what? I'm going to make it three modes. I'm going to put something else in the deck. Um, so obviously we've got a lot of flying creatures. We've got Thunder Spirits, Sarah Angels. Uh, we also have a few ground creatures, which do not always work with the moats, but you know, you don't know if you're gonna get a moat. Basically, what I wanna build eventually is, is a white artifact deck. So probably with more the hives, with Tetravus, with like big artifact creatures. Thinking about it, do I have a Tetravus? I don't think so. Let's see, Colossus. I do have an Ornithopter, but no Tetravuses, unfortunately. Urza's Adventure probably is better in here than a golem is Urza's Adventure, you can give uh, flying. I also want to play with Ivory Towers, but I don't have them. So yeah, this is the deck. Mm, no COP Blacks either. Do I have Disenchants? I guess not. Do I need, I've got two main. Do I need more Disenchants? I don't think so. I got a lot of Kismets because I'm going into the Black Castle. I don't have any Black Wards, I believe. Let's have a look. I do have a blessing, no black cords though. Can I buy some cards? Healing solve. You know what? I'm just gonna give it a try with this deck. Uh, Vampire Lord attacking the steading. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna kick the black wizard's ass, the black castle. So I think it's also pretty thematic for Christmas, right? That I'm gonna attack the black wizard. Anyway, enough talk. Let's get down to business. Buy some food. And here we go. Onwards, my boy. Into the black castle. Mm -hmm. And I guess this has to be our thumbnail for the video, right? That we're gonna go into the black castle. So just let me save that for a sec. Oh, wow. The, mu the music, man, that's pretty intense. Okay, enter the black castle. Rod of Ruin, in effect. Okay, that's not ideal, because I have a lot of one ones, but you know what, we'll do it. Ooh, we got dice. But before we get the dice, let's first check everything else out. Is that already the, the Black Wizard? That would be sweet. Okay, what we're gonna do, I'm first gonna answer the question. What is the toughness of the Lone Rails? Well, that's a 1-1, one, one, isn't it? There we go. Classic card, of course. Okay, we're gonna get dice. Okay, I'm getting some extra life. And we're gonna go here. What's the total casting cost of the ass? Well, that's one. I mean, it's like, a, am I in the green castle by any chance? Because I thought I was in the black castle. Hey, we got loot. Sweet, 460 gold and coins. That is good. You know what we're gonna do? Mm, we can take this one. Oh, I'm starting with a mana vault. Okay, that's pretty good. Are there any more chests in this game? Any more treasure? You know what? I'm just gonna attack the, the Vampire Lord. Let's do it! Because I'm playing with four Sarah Angels, so starting with the Mana Vaults, pretty good. 
Okay, the go golem. Um, we've got planes, 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 trikes, swords, thunder spirit, planes. Okay. I mean, it's pretty nice because with the mana vault, I can cast a trike really quickly. Let's do planes. I'm not going to cast thunder spirit. I'm just going to wait a turn because mana vault, you know, is going to hurt me. I don't want that to happen. Let's go, Thunder Spirit. Thunder Spirit's a pretty cool card. It's not reprinted. And I own four Italian copies. Ooh, there's a weakness. Oh no. Now we can kill it with Rod of Ruin. I love how this is working. No, don't play another weakness on it. You should play use your Rod of Ruin. Rod of Ruin is like Tim on a stick. Three and tap, do one damage to any target. So I love this Rod of Ruin weakness synergy. It's pretty sweet. Unfortunately, though, our computer doesn't understand that, so it is what it is. I'm gonna cast my Thunder Spirit. Ooh, that is annoying. Oh, man. Um, okay, so it's a one, two. Let's see, what is Wisdom? I think I'm going to cast the Hive here. I just don't want to use my Mana Vault. I'm going to cast the Hive. I'm going to pass the turn. And next turn, if he attacks, I think I'm just going to jump with the Thunder Spirit. Ooh, now he's going to kill it. Now he's doing it. This is the way to go. Oh, he's stealing everything. Man, that's not great. Um, But I'm going to cast the Trike. And the Trike can kill them. Let's do that. Play the trike. So this is a weird situation. I didn't ex expect this to happen. Um, I'm just gonna kill one. I'm gonna take a damage, so I, I can consider playing the swords on it, but I really don't want to. Here we go, that's a much better target for the swords. Okay. Here we go, so I'm gonna cast one on this. Let's kill him, and then I'm gonna attack. And we're gonna pass turn, and now I have to remember to make a hive token on the end step. He's being aggressive. Hmm, that is annoying. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a token. And I'm gonna kill the queen. Let's get this over here. Let's make it into a tutu. Just gonna attack with the entire army, at least deal four points of damage. I have to say, it's not going great. When he started, I thought I kind of had it under control, but I really don't want my life to, to go down like this. So I'm not really happy. I'm gonna make a wasp token, and I'm gonna block on the wasp token. Another mana vault. Okay, that's uh, something we really don't need, but okay. Um, let's change to assembly worker. There we go. And we're just gonna attack with this one. I wonder what he's now gonna do with the Rod of Ruin. Like if he's gonna kill my wasp or... Yeah, he is, okay. He's not that stupid. It's unfortunate. Let's make another token. Let's block or not. I mean, I've got disenchants in the deck. I should run into one. Hey, an Earth says Adventure. That's pretty good. Let's play the Adventure. You know what we're going to do? Don't auto tap. Because when you cast something, you don't want to lose your. Um... Oh no! You don't want to lose your assembly worker. Let's rechange to assembly worker because I don't want to get a mana burn. That's a nice thing about uh, assembly workers as well. Like they're, they're so good mistress factories, but you can also use them as a mana sink. Which is quite nice when you're playing formats with, uh, with mana burn. 
There we go. So now I've got my 4 4 Avenger that I can get flying. Oh no! An animate that. That is unfortunate. That is not cool. Um, I have a plan. And I, I understand that he can then kill my um, my adventure, but I'm, I'm just going to take the risk. Flying, and I'm also going to give it first strike? Does that matter? That doesn't... That's actually stupid that I did that. That's not smart. But anyway, did it already. Choose blockers. Let's block. Ah, this dude. He knows what he's doing. Well, actually, he doesn't, because he should have just, you know, killed it straight away, but... Anyway, I got rid of his flyer. Hmm, but this is a little bit annoying, right? So now I've got a factory, so I can actually, let's change to some, I'm, I'm curious to see what he's gonna do. I'm gonna change this, I'm gonna attack with it. If he blocks, exactly, now I'm gonna pump it. Pump assembly worker. Pump it up, don't you know, pump it up. There we go. I am I am lucky that the computer is really bad because I've made some some bad choices. I, he really wants to use that rod of ruin. I mean that's really funny. Uh, and step. Let's make the hive token. There we go. Uh, let's put the factory over here. Let's also say don't auto tap. Draw a new one. Hey, the archaeologist. That is cool. I can use it, but he's probably gonna kill it. I'm gonna take the risk because I really want to use the archaeologist. Maybe he's not gonna kill it. Like who knows? Um, I want to change to assembly worker, and I want to change to assembly worker. Okay. Now we're gonna go and attack for five. I'm gonna put him on five. I mean, maybe he's gonna kill the the wasp token. Who knows? Can you please kill the wasp token? I'm gonna take damage from the vault. Oh man, he's killing the archaeologist. That is unfortunate. I was really looking forward to using the archaeologist. I'm gonna try to get more archaeologists. Hmm, a vampire bat, say. Not too shabby. Hey, a Pegasus. Um I guess we'll just shoot attack with everything, right? I wonder if life loss is carried over in this dungeon. Ooh, he's gonna kill it. It is what it is. Um, let's go. I could go this Pegasus or play card out with the hive. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's put this one here. And then I'm actually gonna use the mana vault next turn to Okay, he dies to his own mana vault. Okay. Fair enough. More vampires. Ooh, extra life gain. I mean, could there be something out there? I love the sounds of the dungeon, right? Like, <laughs> what's going on? Hey, I got a trike. That's pretty good. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna go over to that dude, because maybe there's a treasure chest, who knows. A vampire lord. Hmm. He can start. Karma. Try can play. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Wow. Okay, mana vault, turn one. That's pretty sweet for him. I've got Sarah Angel o Osai Vultures and lots of planes. Okay. Attack. It's pretty good Thunder Spirit. I'm just gonna cast next turn Vultures, turn three Thunder Spirit. That should work. Again, the weaknesses. Weakness is a good card, like for one black. I think it's, it's a little bit underplayed to be honest. I recently played at a tournament that had a lot of people playing Paralyze, and man, that card's good and super annoying. Oh, he's gonna kill my vultures! 
Triggered effects? Can I do something? No, I can't. Uh, well, at least he had to use his mana vault for it, so it's not too bad. Wow. I'm just gonna kill it, whatever. Um, Thunder Spirit. I wonder how it works with taking the counters off. I think under modern magic rules... Oh man, can we stop killing my stuff? Under modern magic rules, as soon as the first counter goes off, the trike dies. But I think in this game, maybe I can just use both counters to at least kill something still. But I'm going to try it out. So Okay, I'm going to play Brass Man. I'm going to play Crusade. And I'm going to pass. Next turn, Sarah Angel, which is a 5 5 because of the Crusade, so that's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. I mean, so far, so good, right? I already found a chest with weapons. Oh, here we go. So let's see if this works. So one on that. Oh, no, it doesn't work like that. Ah. For a moment, I thought maybe I can just get both, take both counters off. But... Doesn't work like that. Oh, my secret weapon, Karma. Oh, that is brutal. I'm gonna play Karma. I mean, it's just too much fun in the... I'm forgetting to attack. I'm just so excited about the Karma. Yeah, sure, deal the damage. Playing a Karma against Mono Black decks, that is evil, evil stuff. I think at my game store at the time, I think Karma was one of those cards that you know, we just didn't play. Also, we didn't play direct damage on the player. We didn't play Circle of Protections. But also, we didn't play Karma. Basically, what we wanted to do was just build gigantic, ridiculous board states. <laughs> when I think back at, like, how we played in, 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 in 95. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Uh, seriously, I'm not gonna... I'm, guys, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna defeat all those vampires. I'm not. Or should I? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get the dice over there. I'm going to attack that Lord and I'm going to think about it. I mean, maybe there's a chest behind it with some goodies. Oh, but I can, is there an opening there? I think there is. Ooh, extra life. Nice. Walking through the dungeon. The thing is, and I really appreciate it, lots of people leave comments where they explain the game and they tell me, okay, this is how many uh, treasures you can find and... Uh, this is what you have to look out for. And, and I read it and I remember some of it. But then when I'm playing, I'm like, oh, what was it again? So forgive me for that. But I do appreciate the comments where you guys try to explain the game. Um, yeah, no, this is nothing. This is, there is one like opening here, maybe? There could be something there. Hmm. Should I get this dice? Should I? I? I don't think I should. I should probably wait for the, the Black Wizard. So I'm just going to go in here. Hypnotic Spectre! What? Did he? What? Oh, God. Oh, man. This is so bad. This is really bad. Now I really need a source. Which I'm not finding. Um... Jeez, this is bad. Um, I'm gonna go desert, and then hopefully next turn into Osai Vultures, and then... Of course, yeah, Anime Dead. I love that, that synergy, by the way, if not Spectre with Anime Dead. That's pretty cool. I respect that. Um, let's deal a damage. Damage the attacking creature! Just because we can, you know? Oh, I'm losing the Vultures, though. That's so bad. Oh, God. God, this is bad. Um, let's pass the turn. At least I've got Disenchant on Animate dead. Exactly, so I'm gonna go Disenchant, Animate. Oh, this is so bad, losing a planes. Uh, I was hoping to lose the moat, actually. Yeah, sure, of course, put the Sengir out. Why not? 
Who does Sangir out? I'm so dead. I'm so losing this. Things were things were going pretty good, right? If I say so myself. I was pretty happy, but losing to Raph. Like the Raph was my ticket out of here, out of this mess. If I would have hit a land and a Raph, then you know life was good. But another moat, ideal. That's perfect. God. Yeah, I'm pretty stupid. I am pretty stupid. I'm gonna get kicked out. Am I dead already? I get one last turn. Okay, I've got Mana Volt. I guess I can go Mana Volt into Dancing Scimitar, which is, you know, Whatever. Oh, I'm gonna get a mana burn because I'm not tapping correctly. I'm such a good player. Oh no, God. Actually, without the mana burn, I could have survived. No, 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 because I can only block. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna block the vampire bats because then I can kill the bats. Oh, put it out of the castle. That's brutal. Um, okay, let's regroup. The green wart, no thank you. Um, what was and what wasn't working in that castle? Um, actually, things were going pretty good until I got, you know, kicked out. Should I just play with another karma? Is there anything in here that could be useful? Maybe actually playing with a lot of rune myself. Actually take out the... Is there always a lot of rune in play? I think it changes, right? Hmm. I'm just gonna... You know what? I'm just gonna try it again. The Throne of Bone. Oh, that's life for black spells. I should play that. Uh, I'm gonna take... Should I take out the Vault? I'm not sure. I'm going to take out the golem, I'm going to take out this machine. Because I, I feel like by the time that I get to play those cards, I'm already winning. So Leave the village! Yes, yes, you conquered another, you know, congratulations. I'm going to, I'm going to beat you anyway. Yes, enter the castle. Rod of Ruin in effect. I guess there's always a Rod of Ruin in effect. Can, I should really do my homework and kind of read about the game. I actually have a book about the game with all the decks and everything. Okay, let's do a question. Which of these spells has a power of four? Bettering Ram, Carnivorous Plant, Wall of Wood, Trike, or Kelvin Warlord? This is actually a good question because Trike is a 4-4, four four, but it is actually a 1-1 one one because it comes into play with three plus one plus one counters. The plant has a power of four, and it is a wall, but it, uh, it's one of the strongest. Um, you know what? Let's just, let's attack this dude. Again, an hypnotic specter? What? Why do all these dudes have a hippie in play? Oh, man. Oh, this is so bad. I think I'm going to lose it again. I mean, I got to be honest. Um... Maybe my deck's too weak against these dudes. I mean, Hippie turn one. I mean, this is now getting to a frustrating point, to be honest. Um, if I can get to the moment where I can cast that Northern Paladin, so I'm not going to disenchant here. I'm not going to use it. Because I want to try to really protect that... Uh, the Paladin. Okay, so... Okay, this is pretty good. I can play Thunder Spirit. And let's hope that he doesn't have a Terror. Okay, weakness is fine. Oh, no, of course he can kill it. Oh, this is so bad. Now I cannot play out my... Oh, <laughs> oh this game... I don't, I, I need one more mana to cast. Of course, yeah, sure, whatever. Don't take the Paladin. 
Don't take the Peladin. Take the Peladin. <coughs> oh, this is so bad. And now I find the planes, of course. Now I find the planes. I gotta play the moat, or else he's gonna kill me with the Carnivorous Plant. Or, sorry, the uh, Carnivorous. <coughs> oh, man. If I draw into Wrath of God, I'm fine. Or Rod of Ruin. Yeah, no, great. Jeez. I mean, it's... Just, you know, kill me in the comments, you know, that I'm doing everything wrong. Whatever. Whatever, man. But turn one hippie. Give me a break. Yeah, put it out of the castle. That's true, honestly. You know what? I'm going to go back in. I'm not even going to change my deck. Wait. Yes, I want to enter. Yes, enter the castle. God. Stupid vampire lords and their... Hypnotic Spectres at turn one. I mean, in what world is that fair that you use start with an Hypnotic Spectre? I don't even know what card did I lose. I didn't even look at it. Uh, anyway, what special ability does the Bok Wreath have? That's Swamp Walk. 3-3 three, three Swamp Walker. That was ugly new art, by the way. Um, you know what? I'm gonna play against the Vampire Lord because now I have a Thunder Spirit, so. Oh, now you start with the Carrion Ants. At least I get to start. I'm gonna play first. Start the duel. Oh, this is pretty cool. Um, shall I play Desert? And maybe he's gonna make a mistake that he attacks and doesn't pump or something. I mean, maybe my mono white deck is just too bad. You know? Again, this trick with the weakness. I do like it, but I'm also getting a little bit frustrated. Okay, I'm going to go for planes because I want to play planes, planes, go Thunder Spirit. Ba -ba -da -ba -bum. I mean, that carrying ants is going to be a problem. Um, You know what? I'm going to block. Sure. Going to save me some damage. Why why am I playing a factory and not I am really bad at magic. I am bad at magic. Because obviously I wanted to go um Oh and I like dark ritual to use your rod of ruin. Awesome. I wanted to use the white to uh to cast thunder spirit. Oh this is pretty sweet. Problem is, he's got the swamp open. Ooh, I got karma. Shall I go karma? Like, he can hurt me a lot, but then again, I can hurt him a lot. I'm gonna go karma. Damn, this castle is tough. Like, I thought it would be easy. Like, the first time I entered the castle, it was going so well, but I'm just getting absolutely hammered here. Okay, but now I've got a moat. So that's good. He can no longer attack me, so that's good. Um, I mean, he can still attack me with the Thunder Spirit, but whatever. Ooh, Wrath of God. I'm going to Wrath, I think. Let's Wrath. Let's Wrath! Ha ha ha! I mean, it, this is this is tough, man. This castle. I really underestimated it. Maybe mono white is not a good strategy. Maybe it should be white blue. But to be honest, I didn't want to go white blue. I really wanted to try to do artifact with white and you know, kind of have fun with some other decks. Um. Oh, I cannot attack because of the moat. I am so bad at magic. Do I have any artifacts in my graveyard? No, I don't. Let's go Thunder Spirit. Thunder Spirit's good. He's gonna die, by the way, to the karma, so everything I'm doing here, whatever, just just ignore it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get some dice. I feel like I need protection against these dudes. 
Ooh, a throne of bone. Um, should I go through here? Why not? Whatever. Let's do it. Hypnotic Spectre, of course. Of course you start with a hippie in play. Oh, God, this is so bad. Um, I'm toast. Shall I go... I can go factory and... Yeah, we'll see. I'm not confident at all. Yeah, there's nothing I can do, dude. It's not too bad at planes, not too bad. Okay. I'm gonna go planes. Osai vultures. Or shall I do mess up? He can kill him anyway, but... Mm, I'm gonna go Pegasus. I'm gonna hope that he isn't gonna take my crusade out of my hand, and then I'm gonna hope that I'm gonna find, and I know it's a bit far-fetched, I'm gonna hope that I'm gonna find the planes to play the crusade. That would be really nice. Oh, sorry, Angel, of course. Okay, but what I could do is go Osai Vultures, and I'm blocking a band and put all the damage on one creature. But now he's got enough mana for Rod of Ruin, so it's going to ruin my plan. Do you get it? Rod of Ruin? Ruin my plan? <laughs> a Wonderlust! Okay, actually, that's not too bad. Uh, sure, take damage. I could disenchant it, but... Okay, I'm going to disenchant that Rod of Ruin before it starts killing my Air Force. And I'm going to pass the turn. It's actually not that bad. I mean, it's bad, but it could be way worse if you still had the Rod of Ruin and I've got some blockers. Yeah, take a damage. Hey, and I got a Plains, which is good. So I could go Crusade or I could go Thunder Spirit. I think I'm going to go Thunder Spirit. Next turn, Crusade, and then I'm going to attack. Should have attacked here in a band, by the way. Probably should have. Should have, could have, would have. Take another damage from the Wanderlust. I love the Wanderlust, by the way, the card. Oh, this is the new art. I like the old art. But yeah. That is, I'm sure that's not of a surprise to anybody. Um, You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to attack with my Vultures. And I'm going to attack in a band. Okay, take the damage. Sure, sure, take the damage. Be a grown-up. Take the damage. Okay. You're on 14. I'm on 12. Am I going to gain some life from my Throne of Bone? That's a big question here. The answer is no. Dude. Maybe this is going to be one of those Chandelar sessions where I'm just going to be completely wiped. Like, I'm just going to lose everything. Uh, another Crusade. Yes, please. You know what? At this stage, I feel like I should just attack. I should just be aggressive, whatever. No, I'm not going to do it because I want to gain some life. I'm going to attack with all these dudes because I don't care about losing a Sarah Angel at this point. Hey, he's going to go to four. This is ideal. He's going to attack me, maybe. Then again, if he does, he's going to lose, probably. So, of course, stream of life makes perfect. I would always play with stream. Um... Take my Sarah. My opponent is pretty bad at, at maths because now I'm going to kill him. He's also tapped out, which is sweet. So if I don't make a mistake, at least I can win my second game here. Do it. That's something. Hey, treasure chest. More gold, the green amulet. That's pretty sweet. But the bigger problem here is that I have to go have to go through a lot of these creatures. And remember, every time I can face Hypnotic Spectre, turn one. How many sort two plowshares do I have in my wide deck, I wonder? I think two or something, like not the full list. Um let's go attack this dude, because then we have two more dice. Vampire bats. Okay, I, I can live with the vampire bats. 
Hey, now I've got a swords. Oh, let's see. I've got a moat. I've got a Pegasus. I've got a plains, hive, swords, desert, plains, plains. I'm going to go for desert. Because now I can kill the vampire bats. Hey, hey, hey. sweet value, a <laughs> value town. Oh god, yeah, of course, Earth Raiders. Why not, dude? Oh, man, this is, this is. But it's not looking too shabby. I'm gonna go Pegasus. Eh, kill it with the Rod of Ruin, whatever. At least you're using all your resources to get rid of the creature, so I'm actually not. It's it's okay. Um, I am next turn going to play out my Wrath or my Moat, depending on what he's going to play out. It's nice that Jembos are a nice sound. Pretty cool card as well. Could it could This could be a card in regular Magic, I feel. Maybe it already is. I only know the old school sets, so maybe someone's watching. Like, it's already a card, you stupid. Okay, sorry, man. Don't know all those new cards, man. Simple man. Um, Jade Monolith. Very cool card. Ooh, and now he takes damage because the Urk Raiders cannot attack because of the mode. Oh, that is sweet. That is awesome. Oh, -ho! Finally. Finally, the luck is returning to the Tim. I'm going to go Sarah Angel. I'm back in full control mode. Yeah, go Soul Ring. It's fine. Potato, potato. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Um, that is pretty cool. But I do think I'm going to sort it, though. He's going to go back to 12. Now, remember, he's going to take two damage a turn from the Urk Raiders alone, so... Oh, Ashes to Ashes! Ooh -hoo -hoo. I have to say, that is pretty impressive. The problem of Ashes to Ashes, of course, is that you're hurting yourself as well. So he's taking another five. Ashes to Ashes, what I like about the card is that it says two target non-artifact creatures. So it's black removal that can also target black creatures, which in old school, it's that's a big deal. Because of course, Terror, which is a super good removal card, cannot target black creatures. So it's nice. Mm, now he targets his own creature, but he's gonna die as well. Okay. Probably not the best move, but oh man, this is risky business. Um, I could also attack the vampire lord and try to get through here. I mean, it doesn't really matter. If the, the problem here is, do they start with an hypnotic specter in their in their opening turn? If the answer is yes, I'm gonna have a problem. Carrying ants. Carrying ants is a, a problem, but not as big as, as a hypnotic. The problem with the hypnotic, of course, is the card disadvantage. So look at it, and I've got a swords in hand. I'm gonna let him attack, see if he's gonna pump his mana into it. Which he's not, okay. What is he gonna do? Okay. Let's go. Let's go desert. Oh, we got a desert again. I love I love it, man. Value. Um Desert. Respond, so I'm gonna wait. I waited until he used his mana vault and then I was gonna respond. Uh, this is a really good turn for me. 
with just one desert and a sword, I've killed two creatures, and he's now going to take damage every turn. So this is, like, ideal. Uh, ooh, I can almost play the Karma. I just need some more mana. Let's use our magical desert. That desert is doing work. Desert my way to victory. Sorcerer's Queen. Another Karma. Ah, I need mana. If I can just get one mana. If he's going to attack with the Queen, that's going to be so funny. Give me mana. Please give me a mana. Uncle Istvan, what a badass. I do respect that, you know, if you play with Uncle Istvan. Okay, I got a crusade. Which is nice, but what I need is mana. I need a land. Come on, dudes. Yeah, start attacking, whatever. Deal damage with Uncle Istvan. This is not good, people. I mean, if he finds, like... Okay, we get Spirit Link. Should I play Spirit Link on Uncle Istvan? I really don't want to. I just need one more mana. I can play Moat. I'm gonna keep Spirit Link for like a uh, Sengir Vampire or something. Which is way scarier than the uncle at this point. Sure, man. I know you're dealing two damage a turn. You're feeling really good about yourself, but I've got seven cards burning in my hand. I just need to land. I could play the Moat. I could play the Karma. Are you kidding me? Select a card to dis. I'm actually gonna discard the hive. This game can be so frustrating. Come on, AI, give me a land. I've got enough lands in there. It's Christmas. Come on. Okay, this is. A land, I guess. Um, you know what we're gonna do? I've got a plan. I think I gotta go moat, or I should go karma actually. Karma. I know. I mean, Karma is going to kill him eventually, so I think that was better. Another option could have been, like, Sarah Angel, but he's got the Sorcerer's Queen. I could have played Moat, but then I still, you know, would take the damage every turn from the Rod of Ruin, so... Mm, I mean, he's got to die next turn, right? Um, I can now play the Moat just, just to be on the safe side. Okay, good. Aw, oh, man! This is, a, this is a tough dungeon. Like, look at this. Three, two. I could go boom, boom, and then get the dice. I could go here. I think I should go there. and Because then I defeat one opponent and have access to the dice. Whatever that means. Maybe just one life, but who knows. Am I going to get kicked out of it for again? You know, <laughs> that's the question. Vampire bats, okay. Start the duel. Uh, what do I have? Rod of Ruin, Thunder Spirit, Vulture, Thunder Spirit, Avengers. Why am I playing with Urza's Avengers in the deck? It's like a zillion mana. Oh, God. Sorry, by the way, if I'm comp complaining too much. I mean, but it's it hasn't really been my... Uh, my way to go at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna go Osai Vultures. Next turn, go Crusade. Do I wanna block here? That's the question. I'm gonna take the damage for now. Maybe I should have blocked, I don't know. I'm going to go Crusade, because then he can no longer use his um, Rod of Ruin against me. Hey, Jambazar! Hey, Onulet! 
I love the fact that the computer loves Onulet. Like nobody ever plays Onulet, but the computer is like in love with that creature. Um, this is pretty cool. I could go Paladin and then kill the bats. I could go Rod of Ruin and then kill the bats. I guess playing Paladin is a little bit more like cheaper. I could also go Thunder Spirit, 3-3 three, three first strike. All right, I do that. I think that's better. Um, and I'm going to attack with my 2-2. Two, two. Yay, deal some damage. Take it, son. It's looking reasonably safe at this point. Sure, play another only that. I really, I don't mind. Uh, I'm going to attack with both, and then I'm going to play another Thunder Spirit. Go, Thunder Spirit. If you want to, if you want to buy these, by the way, they're quite expensive, like in real, in real life. If you want to own a cardboard copy from a Legends, it's pretty expensive. Um, I'm going to go Rod of Ruin now. No, I'm going to go Northern Paladin. Actually, just going to attack with everything. Oh, he's going to block finally. He's going to go to five. Okay, that's good. El Ajash, such a badass card. So this is really smart. Like he's gonna deal one damage with Rod of Ruin, so that if I block now on the lion, uh, my Pelin is gonna die. So I'm just gonna take the damage. But I like this, like the strategy of the AI. Danzen Scimitar. Um, I think I can just kill him, right? He's on five, so I should be fine. He's got no flyers. Yay, I'm winning, finally. Two life, that's it. Uh, let's go for it. Whatever, let's do it. What is Aga going here? What, what is he starting with? Just a rod of ruin, okay. I thought that there was some kind of other word in there, but I guess it was just the name of my opponent. I thought it was a card, I'm like, I don't know that card. So this is not too shabby because finally I have no like creature against me from turn one. Just a rod of ruin. I can live with that. You know, I've got 20 life points. Urg Raiders. That is pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go Thunder Spirit. Urg Raiders, a little bit of a problem. If I can just draw into a land, I can play that moat. Hey, there's a land. Finally, so I'm gonna take Moat. Yeah, this is pretty much <coughs> the game in the back. Now it's gonna take damage from the Raiders. Next turn, I play Karma, get another Karma on board as well. Remember, I'm playing four Karma main. So that's good. Go, Karma! Let's attack. I have to say, my archaeologist hasn't done anything yet, but I'm, I'm keeping it in because it's a cool card. I just have to tweak this deck. It's going to work out. Play another Karma. Why not? Do it. This is so brutal. And the Karmas and the Urg Raider. I mean... Wow. Winning, 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 winning. He was doing so much stuff before he died. That was funny. Um, okay. Okay, look at this. Um, I didn't see that coming. Um, okay. An extra life. Then we're going to go this. An extra life. Hmm. Another dice. 21 life. Oh, wow. Look at this. So I can choose here. Um, I think I'm going to go and... I'm, I want the treasure chest. Just because it's a treasure chest. I need to have that stuff. Let's go. Vampire bats. Not too shabby. Could be worse. What's my opening hand here? Planes, planes, mana vault, Osai vulture, Pegasus, planes. Okay. 
No, let's go Mana Vault. Hopefully next turn I can draw into Sarah Angel. That would be really sweet. Mm -hmm. But of course that doesn't happen. Let's go Pegasus. Passes the turn. Mm, spirit linking, eh? Very clever. I'm gonna attack nonetheless. Who cares? Ooh, he's got mana issues. I love it. Uh, do I want to tap Sarah? Do I want to play Sarah now? Actually, I don't. Just gonna wait. Because next turn I go to five and I don't have to tap. Ooh, he's not gonna pump. Does he have better options? A terror, perhaps? Oh, the Urk Raider. There's the Urk Raider again. Um, let's go, Sarah Angel. Let's attack. Now we can block in the band. Ooh, now I can assign damage. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, am I now giving him... Oh, because it's Spirit Link, I'm giving him life. Okay, that was a stupid move. Stupid move number 867, since I've been playing Shadowlar. <laughs> it's like... That is so funny. Let's attack. But that's what I love about Chandelar, that you you know, you play with cards, you have interactions that you're not used to playing like old school we play today, you know, because people just tend to play with just like 5% of the card pool, uh, which is a shame. And here in the game, you can see the computer using everything, you know, just doing really cool stuff. And and stupid stuff as well, absolutely, but also, also cool stuff. Anyway, um, hey, he's on eight. I can start making hive tokens. Sure. Let 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 the, let the Pegasus die. I don't. It's fine. Make a hype token. Um. Let's see. What is wisdom? I'm gonna activate, and I'm gonna attack. Life is simple. He's probably gonna chump on the Sarah exactly. Token. Let's go. A bag of jewels. Okay, let's attack this last person. Oh, I'm not expecting. Oh, God. This is. Oh, man. This castle. This castle. It's gonna hunt me in my dreams. Uh, at least I'm on the play, right? Uh, Desert, Plains, Pegasus, something? I don't know. At least I got a shitty hand, so all the cards he's gonna take out are probably lands, I hope. Crusade, okay. Um, this is gonna be risky, right? I don't wanna block. No, paralyze. Oh, jeez. Planes, let's go Crusade. Oh, man. It's so tough to play against an opponent that starts with the Hypnotic Spectre. It's so tough. Even if it's just a stupid AI computer person, it's, it's just really tough. Oh, man. Can we stop? Can we stop killing me? Ooh, wow, okay. Um, yeah, I've got no choice. I could keep the... No, I cannot keep the planes. Okay. Oh, 
I fear, I fear that I have to make that, that white blue deck just because I need the power level. Okay, this is good. Swords to plowshares. Why didn't I untap the Pegasus, by the way? That was stupid. Um, whatever. It's a done deal. Stupid, I should have untapped, blocked the hippie with it. That would have been quite good. Okay, okay. I get, a, I get a, another chance. Oh God. I'm just, I'm just, I, I am lost for words at the moment about, you know, the, the, the level of, of I don't know if it's bad luck, but the level of how I'm getting my ass kicked in this game, in this session today, it is, yeah, this is next level. It is next level. I mean, I, I honestly wasn't expecting to get my ass kicked this hard. Like, I, can, I, can, I can really feel it. it. It feels like it's physical. Like, it's not just a digital kick in the, uh, I, can, I, can, I, can feel, I can feel it. I can feel it. <clears throat> oh God. But hey, I'm on six. I got like three turns, right? If he doesn't use his Rod of Ruin, I've got six turns, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, of course. Hey, Wrath of God. That's actually pretty decent. Uh, that's funny. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attack in a band. Because that's that's the kind of guy I am. Let's attack. Ooh, he's not blocking, and I'm gonna play Wrath. I know you get tons of life. I'm in four. You got your rod of ruin. Whatever, dude. I gotta play towards my outs. Who knows? Just give me four turns. Just don't do anything like good. Just pass the turn exactly. Thank you. Trike. Okay. Doesn't I miss a mana? Jeez. Capitris, okay. Planes, I can play out the trike, but the trike doesn't fly. Newsflash, trike is not flying. God. I actually thought I made a pretty good, you know, white deck, but it apparently it's not good enough for the dungeon. You know what, here, take damage. And you take damage. And I'm going to also damage myself. Okay, I'm just... Okay, um, this was... It was this the most painful session thus far? The good news is I'm now going to celebrate Christmas. Forget about all this stuff. Going to have a nice drink, have nice food, have fun with the family. Uh, and I see you guys next week. And, uh, you know, please spare me in the comments. Remember, it's, it is the holiday season, you know. And, and, and I don't, I, yeah, but yeah, give me some advice in the comments. What type of deck should I play? Uh, you know, keeping in mind the, the, the cards that I have. You know, maybe Mono White. I just thought Mono White for Karma, you know, add some artifacts. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I got my ass kicked. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I am going to save it because that's, you know, that's what I do. This happens. Um, thank you. And oh, yeah. Enjoy Christmas, of course. Happy holidays. And uh, see you guys again next week. Then we're going to try it again. I'm just going to go again into the Black Castle. I'm not going to give up. Don't worry. Have fun. And don't forget to play Magic this Christmas. Oh man, what a session.
flyers I got gifts but one subscribers Thanks for the candy basket Oh got another jacket My stocking's filled with acid Am I dreaming? What just happened? Just a boy, Christmas brought so much joy Couldn't wait for the presents and laughter I couldn't sleep late at night Looking for Santa with lights Those are the memories I still remember Then I became a man Lost sight of who I am But right in front of me was the Joy, and I turn back to a boy The answer is to stay young Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazee.